guys, it's Dr. Caffrey with Arch Review, and welcome back to your clinical skills videos where we're gonna be covering point of care testing, specifically glucometer checks or blood sugar checks. This is actually very commonly done in both an inpatient and an outpatient setting, so I want you guys to master it because we often check blood sugars on clients multiple times a day. Before you come into the room, you want to make sure you have an order to check a blood sugar, that it's the right time for the right client, and that you've gathered all of your materials. With materials, there's a couple things you're looking for. You need to have gloves in case there's any blood, glucometer strips that match your glucometer, what we call a lancet that's the tiny needle we're gonna poke them with, an alcohol swab, and a piece of gauze to wipe off that first drop of blood. Now that you've gathered all your materials, you're ready to enter the room, perform hand hygiene, introduce yourself to the client, double identify, and of course, explain the procedure. Hi, I'm Dr. Caffrey. I'm gonna be checking your blood sugar today. How are you doing? All right, I'm fine. Are you good with checking blood sugars? Do you have a fear of needles or it. blood? Okay, perfect. Is there a finger preference that you have? I usually do one of my index fingers, okay. whatever. Perfect. I always like to ask my clients what their finger preference is, especially because as we talked about, they're often getting these blood sugar checks multiple times a day and they may have a preference. After you've gone through that, we wanna double identify our client. Would you mind if I just get your full name and date of birth? Yeah, it's Morgan Taylor, 113092. Perfect, you can also go ahead and scan these devices along with the identification band if that's available at your facility. Otherwise, double identification with name and birth date is sufficient. Now that you're ready to go, you can perform your hand hygiene and don your clean gloves. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the finger so we can let that air dry while we set up the rest of our materials. Can I borrow that finger from you? Give it a good scrub and then let that dry entirely. Now what you're gonna do is grab your tub of glucometer strips and your glucometer. We want to remove one strip for this test and I'm gonna walk you through what a strip looks like so you always know which side to put it in. Every glucometer strip you use is going to look fairly similar to this. One end is going to have a little line and that is where the blood is gonna go while the other end has what looks a little bit like a computer chip. That computer chip inserts directly into the glucometer and there it is going to turn on and it's going to beep for us with a little flashing drop of blood letting us know that it is ready for the blood. At this point, we can set that there, grab our thing, mind if I set this on your leg so sure. it's nearby? We have our piece of gauze and we have our lancet. Once you remove the tip of your lancet, you're ready to go ahead and quick poke. Perfect. You can set your sharps in the proper sharps bin. We're going to wipe off our first drop of blood and then that second drop of blood is going to be the blood that you test. Go ahead and stick your glucometer directly on it. It will soak up the blood. You can hold that there on your finger. Okay. And then this is going to give you your blood sugar reading. Once it spits out that blood sugar reading number, you're able to go ahead and dispose of that in a biohazard bin, 99. This can go in biohazard. This can get put away. You're ready to perform your hand hygiene. Check in with the client, make sure that they feel safe. Que mm -hmm. Feeling queasy at all? I'm okay. Perfect, if they're in a hospital bed, of course, like always, we're gonna wanna raise those top rails, put the bed in the lowest position with the call light in reach, and then make sure that you document that blood sugar check with what the blood sugar was and where you tested. And that's it, guys, for how to perform a glucometer check. You're ready now to go poke your patients and check those blood sugars. And that is it. Join us back for our next clinical skill video where we will cover more point of care testing. Hi Archer Nurses, Dr. Caffrey with Archer Review again. I hope you enjoyed that clinical skill video. Dr. Taylor and I had so much fun filming those for you. In fact, we filmed over 200 clinical skill videos for you so that as you guys enter clinical practice, you feel as prepared as possible. You can sign up for that complete clinical skills course using this QR code here or going to archerreview.com. There you can also sign up for the 19 other comprehensive nursing courses that we've created for you like behavioral health, pediatrics, fundamentals, health assessment. Our goal here is to make nursing school as simple as possible so that you guys feel prepared to enter your new career as a nurse. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never miss an Archer Review video. Good luck, future nurses.